In this video, we will cover how to install Rexnord Smart Condition Monitoring System Model 1010 and Model 1030 Universal Field Installation Kits. In this video, the installation will be demonstrated on an A unit and V class drive, but these kits can be installed on any gear drive. As part of the Model 1010 Universal Field Installation Kit, we will cover installing an oil sump temperature and vibration sensor, an Andon light, and the edge device on the gear drive. For the Model 1030 Universal Field Installation Kit, the oil sump temperature sensor will be replaced with an oil quality sensor. The vibration sensor will be installed near the high speed end of the drive. The preferred side is the side where the motor couples to the gearbox. For V-Class drives, refer to the installation documentation included in the Model 1010 or 1030 Universal Kit that specifies the correct position of the vibration sensor. Proper orientation is critical to the function of the sensor. When installing, orient the sensor so that the angled edge of the sensor is located at the 11 o'clock position. There is also an x-axis marked on the sensor. Ensure that x-axis is parallel to the split line or top of the housing. To install the vibration sensor, begin by prepping the surface by sanding the paint and cleaning prior to applying the epoxy. Discard the thermal tape and quarter 20 screw included in the kit, as these will not be used when using epoxy to install the sensor. Use the DEVCON two-part plastic welder supplied in the kit to install the mounting plate to the drive. Ensure that the M3 threads on the mounting plate remain clear of epoxy. Once the epoxy has set, install the sensor to the mounting plate with the two M3 screws. Start by locating the drain port on the drive where the sump temperature sensor will be installed. Use your best judgment to determine the location for the oil sump temperature sensor based on any other accessories that may be installed on the drive. Verify that the sensor will not interfere with any of the gearing. Three bushings are included in the 1010 Universal Kit. Select the proper size based on the gear drive you are installing the kit on. Apply pipe joint compound to the threads on the bushing and temperature sensor. Install the bushing into the drain port and then install the temperature sensor into the bushing. Select a suitable location to mount the P-clip to secure the converter to the housing. Depending on the type of drive you are installing the kit on, the converter can be installed in several locations. Verify that the cable from the temperature sensor will reach the converter prior to installing the converter. For Falk gear drives, the converter clip can be drilled into the gearbox, but do not drill into the machine surfaces or through the gearbox. Alternatively, the converter can also be secured to a cable mount that is epoxied to the gear drive. Ensure that the surface is prepped and cleaned before applying the epoxy. Install the converter into the P-clip and attach to the drive with the M8 hardware. Attach the converter to the temperature sensor by connecting the end of the sensor cable with the end of the converter. Select a suitable location for installing the oil quality sensor. It is recommended to install the sensor in an area of high oil flow. For most drives, this is the low speed end of the drive. For Falk A Plus and Y Series gear drives, where drain ports may be limited, the sensor can be installed on the high speed end. In the kit, bushings are provided to directly connect the oil quality sensor to 3 quarter inch, 1 and a quarter inch, and 2 inch NPT drain ports. To install the sensor on drives with a 1 inch NPT port, use the 3 quarter inch NPT adapter with the supplied 3 quarter 
to 1 inch NPT bushing. For drives with other drain port sizes, the 3 quarter inch NPT adapter can be used with the standard NPT pipe bushings. Screw the sensor into the bushing. Do not use any thread sealant on the sensor threads, as the O-ring will provide an adequate seal. Do not over tighten. Apply sealant to the threads of the bushing and screw the assembly into the drive. Take the components of the Andon light and begin to assemble them. Take the screws and fit them into the holes of the circular base. Take the mounting bracket and using the washers and nuts, assemble them together. Insert the rubber grommet in the center of the circular base. Screw the metal conduit onto the mounting bracket. Slide the conduit adapter onto the conduit. Take the Andon light and feed the cable through the piping until the cables emerge on the other side. Screw the light tight. Unistrut will be used to secure the edge device to the gear drive. It is generally easiest to install the edge device at the low speed end on the same side that the vibration sensor is located. For A+, Y series, and some V-class drives, holes will need to be drilled into the drive. Install the Unistrut to the drive using the provided hardware. Install the edge mounting plate using the channel nuts and one half inch hardware. The plate should be installed so that the tab for the Andon light is just above the Unistrut. When installing the edge device on the gear drive, do not install the edge device mounting plate more than 18 inches above the top of the gear drive. The Unistrut can be cut to length if needed. If the drive does not have adequate clearance or a suitable surface for installing the Unistrut, the edge device can be mounted remotely. You will need to supply any hardware used for remote mounting of the edge device. Several options exist for mounting the Unistrut to rails, I-beams, or the floor. Select a suitable location based on your application. Secure the edge to the mounting bracket using the provided number 12 hardware. Attach the Andon light assembly using the 5 16th inch bolt and lock nut. Install the power supply to the back of the edge mounting plate using the number 8 hardware. It is generally easiest to partially thread the lower screw, slide the power supply on the screw, and then tighten both screws to secure the power supply. Do not over tighten the screws. The digital display is an optional add-on for the Rexnord Smart Condition Monitoring Kits and can be installed on the edge device mounting plate using the number 10 hardware to install the display to the plate. An extra Y cable is included with the display kit to connect the display to the edge device. In the Model 1010 and 1030 Universal Kits, you will be provided serial cables that will connect the sensors to the edge device. Depending on the size of the gearbox, as well as locations of the sensors, you may not need to use all of the serial cables. Use your best judgment when selecting the cables for installation. Begin by connecting the two Y cables into port 1 on the edge device. It is recommended that the long Y cable is attached directly into the edge device. All connections should run through this port, but the order in which the sensors are connected does not matter. Use the longest length serial cable to connect the sensor that is farthest away from the edge device to an open port on the Y cable. This is typically the vibration sensor in most applications. Use the shorter serial cables to attach the oil sensor and Andon light into the remaining open ports on the Y cables. Clips will be installed on the drive and will be used to secure the sensor wires to the gear drive. The housing will need to be sanded and cleaned prior to mounting to ensure proper adhesion. 
Use the provided two-part DEVCON plastic welder to secure the cable mounts in place. Cable tie mounts can also be secured with the number 8 drive screws. Use a number 27 drill bit and drill to a maximum depth of 0.15 inches. Hammer the drive screws into the holes to secure the clips. This method is only recommended for A+, Y-series, and V-class gear drives. Secure the cables with the provided cable mounts and ties. Loop any access cable neatly behind the edge device and use the cable ties to secure the cables to the unistrut. To power up the edge device, either the included power supply can be used, or 24 volts DC can be supplied directly to the edge device. Have a licensed electrician use the connector to make a power cable for the edge device. To use the power supply, run 120 volt AC to the drive. Use the included connections in the kit to wire the power supply to the 120 volt source. Slide the nut, cable gland, and connector back shell onto the wire. The terminals on the connector are marked for line, neutral, and ground. Connect the proper wires to the terminals and tighten the set screws. Tighten the back shell to the connector and tighten the nut to secure the cable gland. To power the edge device, remove the cover on the power connector located on the base of the edge device. Screw in the power connector and the edge device can now be safely powered on after a few minutes, the edge device will fully boot up and the andon light will illuminate, indicating the status of the drive. The edge device can be connected to the Rexnord portal by supplying Ethernet to the WAN port. If connecting the edge device to a local PLC, connect the PLC through the LAN port. A QR tag is also supplied with the kit. This tag ties the asset to the edge device. For Falk drives, this tag can be scanned to access manuals and other information on the drive. Place the QR code tag in a place that is visible when the drive is in service. A second tag is also included that can be kept with plant maintenance. This completes the installation of the 1010 or 1030 Smart Condition Monitoring System Kit. For more information, refer to the installation manual which can be found on rexnord.com.